Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to another episode of NIMBY Rails. It's been two weeks since we've visited NIMBY Rails, partly because last week there was a lot of OMSI things going on, there was the release of the new open top bus, so instead of NIMBY Rails we did visit OMSI uh, more often than, uh, than, than we visited here. So uh, today is going to be a special hour long episode, provided of course we have the funds to do so, and today we are going to be taking a look at some of the that's not the one. Some of the new features which are available for NIMBY Rails. It's version 1.2. Version 1.2 landed a couple of days ago and uh, there's lots of exciting new features which I feel that we really do need to take a look at. You can see some of those just now. So without further ado, let's go into the menu so that I can tell you exactly what uh, what we've got to play with now. If we slow it down, or we won't slow it down because we're making some money. If we zoom in, you'll see that we've now got crossovers before the actual platforms, which is suggesting to me that we can make use of both platforms. Now, I've not experimented with any of this yet. We shall see uh, upon, you know, getting some things going. It seems like they're only using one platform. Maybe we have to, like Transport Fever, maybe we have to tell them to use to the other platform manually. I don't know. But as you can see with the Metrolink, they seem to be behaving. You can have multiple trams in at the same time. That's all good. So yeah, single track is now here. We can build single track. If we go in the track section here at the top, you can either use two times to create two tracks. There you go, two tracks, lovely. Although for some reason the control D button doesn't appear to be working. You can build across each other as many times as you want now, even though it's not underground. I don't know what the white means. Is that some sort of like suggestion that there's high density? You know, there's chance of a collision? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, you can build across each other, but there is the potential for trains to crash. So we'll delete that. Delete that as well. Yes, thank you very much. So yeah, you can build double tracks, untick that, you've got yourself a nice single track. Although, as I say, for some reason the undo key doesn't seem to be working, which is a bit of a shame, because I spend a lot of time uh, clicking the undo key. Uh, so yeah, diamond intersections, signals and track blocks. So you can signal now, you can play signals, you can see there's some signals here, just before you can see the little green. Uh, it is nice that you can zoom in and see like what's kind of going over each other a little bit better. The track appears to be improved as well, so it looks a lot better uh, than what it did before. Reblueprinting, so we can actually change the built track back into blueprints to edit it, which was, you know, that was a bit of a bugbear of mine that we couldn't do that. Uh, because obviously sometimes you want to edit things, but you've now got the potential to do that. Uh, parallel track constraints. Oh, that's just the two track thing. Never mind. Line service levels. Enable or disable a line so passengers know if a line is out of service. So if we're editing a line, for instance, say we want to edit our Liverpool to York service. Oh dear, what's happening here? Oh, that is not good. It appears we're stuck. Ah. Um, okay, that's an interesting one because I've never had that before. Um, right. Uh, oh, <laughs> how do you can can you swivel trains round? Can you collision? Why has there been a collision? There shouldn't have been a collision. How do we? Right. Okay. So I don't actually know how we're going to deal with this. Yeah. Yeah, fair dues. Um, the intervention will reset. Well, we're going to have to do it, aren't we? Oh, okay, that's that's literally how you do that. So they're all going back to the depot. Jolly good. Right, okay. That's better. That's that. Yeah, I think we've I think we've sorted that just about. Just about. Uh, and then automatic line timings, so they will time themselves based on how fast the train can go, uh, so you don't have to kind of fiddle about doing that anymore. So, uh, so yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot, oh dear, there's someone over here as well that appears to have got stuck. Uh, right, okay, intervention, yes. I don't want to intervene because you're very expensive trying to intervene. There we go. Oh, everyone appears to be uh, colliding with each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Maybe you can't have collisions on track that's already built. 
I'm not sure. Nah, we'll see. They appear to be behaving, so that's all jolly good. So yeah, we've actually got an incredible network going here. When I've, I've not actually, now that we've got like the Mersey rail on, and I zoom out, we, we really are doing well. You know, it's it's quite a, well, it's it's a massive network that we're building up here. And I thought that today we could, we could well, we could leave that on uh, on fast forward, couldn't we? Everything's going about, there's lots of, yeah, picking up, dropping off. I just want to make sure that we've got no collisions, to be honest with you, because, uh, you know, now that we've got the potential for collisions, it's uh, it's a little bit worrying, isn't it? I don't want everything to get stuck and have to keep intervening, because we've not made that 500,000 that we've spent back yet. So that's essentially, oh, for goodness sake. Well, we knew that that might happen. Right, okay. Okay. Well, why is why have you why have you done that? Ah, uh, well, okay. You're going to cause us lots of problems, aren't you? Uh, I don't get why you So you can use that platform. You can use that platform. Yeah, you're going to use that one. I don't understand why it would Maybe we need to, can, can we actually change the platform that things go in? And let's have a look first of all in the line orders. So this is, is this the Ashton to Eccles? I feel like this is the Ashton to Eccles. There we go. So Media City UK. Let's scroll down. Uh, yes, it appears that, uh, it appears that one of them wants that platform. One of them wants the other platform. I can't see what the problem is there. So you want UK A and you want Media City UK C. Oh, we've got four platforms. Have, have we got four platforms at Media City? No. 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 What's... Ah, A and C. Right, okay. I don't understand why it would be an issue. Oh, is it because it needs to go to D? Let's have a look. Well, Media City UK. C. So that's there. We'll delete you and pop you there so that it knows. I, I'm not convinced I've done that right now. You know. You've done it right. You've done it right. Harbour City. Yeah, Harbour City, Media City, Anchorage. No, that's Broadway. Anchorage is there. You put it the wrong way around, you banana. Right. Delete. Delete there. So it appears it inserts it after Broadway. There we go, it puts it after. I thought that clicking it would put it in front. So if you click it at that end, does, does that suggest that that it wants to turn around? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there are a couple of things that are now running out of sync, which is a little bit annoying. There we go, so he's turned around. I think that's working. That appears to be working a lot better Okay, let's scroll out and see. Have we got any more uh, big, big problems? It would appear not. So that's that. You know, that's all well and good. Right, we'll get them. Uh, we'll get them back on on high speed, but not so high that we can't actually see what's happening anymore, uh, because obviously we we quite like to sit and see what's happening. There's no point looking at a blank screen, is there? So um, you know, I'd, I'd quite like to do some more around this area. Like I said last time, we we are lacking railways around the Hull and Scarborough area, um, but it is a bit tricky. I don't really know as to how much we could do in this area. To be perfectly honest with you, just on the premise of there's not a lot of railways. You know, there's there's just a big. I mean, there's obviously freight lines, isn't there, around here? But you've essentially got the line from York out to Scarborough. And then the line down the Yorkshire coast to Hull. And that's pretty much it in a big triangle. Now, I would like to get that line built. I'd, I'd absolutely love to get that built. But finances could be a little bit of a, uh, a constraint on this one. Uh, so we shall go out. We'll, we'll start it and we'll see how far we get. Yeah, we'll see how far we get. I can't see it. Uh, can't see it being a problem doing that. 
So this is York, York platforms, it's these platforms down here from York that, uh, that we're going to be using. And tracks, so we shall, we'll get a bit of the old two track coming out here. Helps if you actually click, uh, no, no, I, I, how do I stop that? Control Z, nope, the undo button has gone. Okay. You, you need to remember that, Joe, because the undo button is no more. Right, two times. Bring them out. Ah, look at that. That is that is some good stuff. Now, we'll bring you round there. Because the platforms do actually come round here, to be honest with you. More than what we've, uh, we've been able to do. Yeah, that's the one. And then we go over the river. There we go. We'll pop a bit of viaduct in there. And then we need single track. There we go. Single track? It's not single track. What are you on about, man? Well, it is single track. So, we have a little section just leaving York. You'll have to do it as a junction, won't you? Oh, that's so annoying. Right. I've noticed that the track tools as well are a hell of a lot more flexible. Uh, you know, you, you kind of feel like you're, you're fighting a lot with the track. Oh, wow, that, that is an interesting one. Look at that. You can, you can make it do that. You can... Oh, that's a lot better than what it was. That's absolutely fantastic. That's going to make making, you know, station junctions a lot better. Because I always moan, I, mean, I always moan anyway, don't I? But I always moan, you know, that there's that there is problems. And that some of the stations look quite ugly, don't they? There we go, we'll put you there. So that's what happens. For some reason, and I don't know why, it's probably just an old BR thing. Um, the line actually comes into a single track just after the bridge. And then just immediately straight after comes out. There's, there's a bank here where they could build the track all the way down. But for some reason, they've just never done it. So uh, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced. I'm not entirely sure as to why that would be. Like I say, it's probably just an old British Rail thing. You know, it did that back in the day. And uh, it's going to continue to do that now. So we're going to build out here. This is, uh, this is a good place to spot trains. There's a little footbridge here uh, coming out on this line. And... Uh, you do get people photographing. I mean, you, you get more people photographing now that we run, uh, now that there are these 68 and Mark 5 sets. But it's quite a nice little bridge. Uh, it's surrounded by houses, but you can get quite a nice little photo there. Is this... Oh, that's bridging. That's bridging. Okay. It's it's literally like trying to start again with Nimby Rails to me now, because this is obviously... I mean, this will be a level crossing. I think this is Haxby level crossing here. Uh, but we can't place track at such a jaunty angle, can we? Uh, hold on a second, where are you going? You might be... Oh no, we'll, we'll continue up here. It's an absolutely lovely area, is this? It's, uh, well, I would say it was suburban York. Uh, there we go, we'll try and build you across. It's like got a little bit of a wiggle in it, hasn't it? But Why is that Haxby level crossing? Oh, that that's Haxby level crossing there. Funnily enough, Haxby Level Crossing is uh, is next to Haxby. We'll have to bridge over it, won't we? Because, uh, there we go. So we come to about here. I think we go, do we go up here? We spent a lot of time on this going north. Uh, this is where I kind of get a bit lost. I think we, we cut through here, maybe? Yeah, this is where I get lost, because there's, there's not really a scar on the landscape, you know, like you can see this, this white line, so you kind of know where the railway's going. That kind of disappears around here, but I think we're gonna, I think just about up here. Round there and across through Strensel. It's actually really good as well because it appears that the money is coming in quicker than what we're actually spending it by building, which is excellent. Let's have a look. We'll just zoom out, make sure everybody's 
Are we all okay? We've got no no issues. No, since we've corrected the Metrolink, we seem to have a lot less issues. Uh, right, okay, so we're, we're chugging along here through the uh, the Yorkshire countryside. This is this is East Yorkshire now. This is like the deepest, darkest depths of East Yorkshire. Let's have a look. Uh, I reckon we come down here. Because we go around Kirkham Abbey, and Kirkham Abbey is an absolutely beautiful section of line, but it's uh, it's much loathed by a lot of passengers on the premise of that there's no mobile phone signal, and uh, staff alike are very very uh, you know they they well it's 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 a bit of an unfair one actually to say that we don't like it. It's absolutely beautiful, but I th I reckon we come round here to be honest with you. I think maybe we we go round to the oh, I don't know <laughs> completely lost here. Um, we, we need to zoom out on the open railway map. And I am going to need to look. So we're at Barton Hill. Uh, Barton. Right, so that's that's the motorway. Is that is that the A64? Is it the A64? I can, I can never remember, to be honest with you. I used to drive down it every day. Uh, right, okay. Yeah, so this, this kind of comes along here. Right, okay, yep, that's, uh, I think it does anyway, um, ooh, so it, yeah, so this is the bit where we, we go round here, there's an absolutely gorgeous house round here, ah, you can, you can see the scar of the railway now, so that's, that's okay, and then from here we kind of, I reckon it's there at Barton Hill, yeah, I reckon we come round here. You've you've not done that right. They're not joined. Oh, I wish they'd bring the undo tool back. We spend so much time undoing things. It's uh, yeah, it's really going to hinder my building. Ah, here we go. Scarring. It's not particularly fast, like given that the uh, the Trans Pennine Express service has come down. Here, it's uh, it's you know it's a very slow kind of what I would describe as a ploddy line, because you you spend a lot more time just kind of plodding about. So you come down to about there, and then we we stay quite far away. Do we cross over this road? Yes, we do. There's a lot of level crossings on this section of track. There we go, bring you round. I mean, you, you can't do 100 miles an hour down here anyway. Bring you round there. And straight up. Yeah, it's about here where the absolutely gorgeous little house is. And and I have said I'd, I'd love to own it. I think it's an old station building. It's like an old station cottage. Oh, it is, it is lovely. And uh, yeah, I think I'm telling you wrong. I don't think it is there. We've uh, we've not gone round Kirkham Abbey yet, have we? That's uh, that's kind of down here. But as you can see from the from the windy nature of it, it's a it's a gorgeous line. It's a Scarborough line. Gorgeous, gorgeous line. It's a very busy line as well. You you wouldn't think so, given it just well, given it just goes to Scarborough. But uh, yeah, really, really busy line. Lots of uh, well, when I say busy line, what I mean is uh, you know the trains are busy. There's still only one train an hour in each direction, with uh, with a couple of additional ones in the summer. Uh, but yeah, it's a very very busy line in terms of passenger numbers. Right, let's go up here. I am a little bit lost again now. Hold on. Right, so we've come round there. Ah, hold on. We need to. We need to. We need to click the undo button, but there is no undo button. Ah, that's not good. Uh, so this is Lower Hutton, and uh, there's a there's a bridge here. I think this is where my, my little house that I go on about is. And then we go over Hutton's Ambo River Bridge, which I always thought was Hutton Zambo. I thought it sounded like somewhere in Africa, uh, you know, but it, it's not. It's Hutton's Ambo. Uh, I don't know what an Ambo is, but whatever it is, it belonged to uh, a chap called Hutton. I reckon we go, uh, yeah, we kind of go up here and back in again and... 
and kind of up here like that. That's, that's lovely. And then we drop down into Norton on Derwent, which, uh, given that the station here is Molton, apparently it's actually closer to Norton than it is Molton. Although, to be fair, looking on the map, that would suggest otherwise, wouldn't it? Uh, right, we'll just delete you because I think I'm, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Right, create new station platforms. Now, this is interesting. Uh, double platforms, what does that do? Nope. Uh, Okay, I appear to be stuck. Delete. No. It appears you can't, once, you, once you've set off deleting, you, or once you've set off building, you, you can't do it without clicking that and then deleting again. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Uh, auto pen directional signals. Stop point signals. I don't want double tracks. Ground. I just want one platform if I can. There we go, we'll, we'll pop it as 300 metres. I don't know what you are. Oh, you have a little section of track. Well, you're not needed, so go away. Uh, so this is Molten. There we go. It's quite a long way, isn't it? Given that there's... Uh, given that there's so many like little villages en route to York. Yeah, it's, it's not a particularly direct line, is it? But given that there's so many little villages en route to York, you would kind of imagine that, uh, you know, that that there would be more stations than what there were. I mean, like, you've got Church Fenton's about here, isn't it? And, you know, so you'd imagine there'd be maybe a stop kind of around here at Flaxton. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm happy with, you know, I do like a good express service, so the less stations the better as far as I'm concerned, but you, you kind of imagine that it would be a thing. Right, okay. So we need two tracks. Oh, and you've even built them the wrong, the uh, the correct side. You absolute beauty. What are you doing? Well, that's not right, is it? Ah, right. No. Okay. I know why. It's because I've got it on double track, haven't I? So it's it's trying to do. There we go. So if I build a junction now. There we go. Beautiful. Now there is actually another line that comes past the platform here, but I thought I don't want that. Nope, you banana. Delete that. You need your two tracks. This is going to take a while to get used to, I think. Uh, right, okay, single track. I don't think that we're going to have enough... Uh, we're not going to have enough money to do this, are we? I mean, just looking at how much I'm building, I, I said, oh, well, it's good that... Uh, you know, the money was coming in faster than we were spending it. But look, no, <laughs> we've spent it faster than it's coming in now. That's no good at all. Uh, two tracks, right, bring you down. I like how it seems to just know what side you need... You know, you need it to be on. Uh, create no branches, just one, please. Yep. Lovely. And then you've got molten level crossing here. And then we blast off. Now, this section of track, I believe, is a lot straighter uh, than the track that we've just been working on. Uh, it certainly feels that you, you get up to a much better speed between Molten and Seema. But it's probably much more of a distance. Uh, it's, it's roughly the same amount of time from uh, York to Molten as it is from Molten to Seema. So Seema's about like, oh no, it's, it's less, but it's more direct. <laughs> Excuse me. That's no good, is it? Now, having a look, we, we've not got a lot to work off here. Um, I am kind of working on the premise that it's a fairly straight line, but just looking there, I don't think it is. And having a look, it would appear that Seema Station is actually at Cross Gates. It's not at Seema. It might work in our favour. Right, OK, there is, there is two platforms here. Uh, 
we'll, we'll have it at uh, Hold on, what, what's, the, what's this? Right, can we, can we, can we get rid of that? I, I don't like that. I need to actually have a look at what it's saying here. So we've got auto append directional signals, drive on the left right tunnel for double platform, auto append scissor interactions, right? I don't want them. I don't want the, the scissor interactions because this is just a through station, isn't it? We'll have it at 300 metres. I don't think it is 300 metres, but we'll have it at 300 metres anyway. Uh, so Scarborough, now where is Scarborough Station? I think it's about here, because you've got the Tesco there. No, the Scarborough Pupil Referral Unit, how nice. Uh, I reckon that this is kind of it, because you've got the, the pedestrianised street down to the seafront there. I reckon this is about Scarborough Station. It is just a bit of a shame, isn't it, that we uh, we, we don't have access to... Uh, there we go, I reckon that's about fine. That we don't have access to curved stations just yet. I, I feel like it's something that will be coming in the future. Uh, so that's Scarborough. Please tell me it's called... Oh no, it's St. Joseph Theatre. I thought that would be brilliant if it was uh, the, the Scarborough Pupil Referral Unit. That speaks volumes, doesn't it? Uh, Crossgate, you need to be renamed to Seema. There we go. Uh, so, this this is going to cost a hell of a lot of money to do. I think more or less from Molten, it's just a straight line, isn't it? Just the odd... Uh, or is it? Now, Seema is where you... Uh, hang on, I've, I've lost Seema. It's not moved, you idiot. I know it's not moved, but... Now, this is dangerous territory where uh, we are now talking to ourselves. It's been a long day. Um, so, right, okay, we'll, we'll pop the line in here. No, we won't. You'll... We need the undo tool back. Please give us the undo tool. So this is a fairly easy one. It just follows the road more or less. And then ends up on this side of it. Uh, nope, no undo tool. Stop pressing Control Z. Unless I've just changed the key bindings. There we go. Nope, you've you've cocked it up again there. There we go. Right. About that, that'll do. Okay, now we need the, yeah, we, we need the junctions now. That's annoying. Right, okay, uh, Scarborough. Delete Scarborough Station. Yeah, and I need both of you to go. There we go. Uh, so, station platform, we need to auto-append the scissor. The scissor thing. 240, 240 will do, won't it? It's still the St. Joseph Theatre. Very disappointed. Uh, that's about right, isn't it? Right, okie okay, dokie, okay. Stephen and Joseph. Scarborough. Yeah, we, that's one thing that I'm going to need to remember, that we need the scissor junction on the end. Uh, right, okay, bring you into there. And then we'll just put a junction in there. Yeah. Why has that happened? That's not very nice, is it? Try again. Well, that's not nice either. Why are you? Why are you deliberately? Why are you not playing ball? Why, why do you, I don't get why they want to cross over. Is it, have I still got the, like, the, the auto, the auto scissor? 
Right, we'll, we'll build you out there. Now let's let's try. Oh, I don't get why it's doing it. Why are you why are you behaving like that? Right, we'll try from up here. No. Okay, right, we're, we're just going to have to do it as a single track, aren't we? We'll, we'll just single track it. Junction. Nope, single track. And then we will have another one, please. Single track there, single track there. But we'll, we'll build it round. There we go. That looks a little bit more convincing than it did before. Well, that was painful, wasn't it? Um, yeah, very painful. Now, SEMA. Back to SEMA. So SEMA is actually where the junction is. Uh, we'll build you out here, straight down to about there. Uh, is it before the lake thing? Nature reserve, or is it after? I reckon it's probably after. Uh, let's have a look. So there's a roundabout there. The nature reserve. Yeah, so the line actually comes round here. Now this goes down the Yorkshire coast towards Filey, Bridlington, Driffield. So it actually comes back in by the looks of things and then down through Beverly. Uh, very, very scenic line. It's not one that I've ever done. Um, which, given uh, the fact that I am a train saddo, uh, I should probably look at doing at some point. Now, this doesn't seem to follow any specific pattern other than it just comes down here so we'll we'll just make it look relatively convincing because I'm not entirely sure where I'm going with it other than this way uh, there we go we'll bring you over there round there it's about right isn't it where are we now yeah, that'll do. That's probably nothing like the Scarborough line at all. Uh, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do. Right, okay. Now, you, now you're now you moaning that we've got water and road hits. Uh, okay. I'll bring you up there and across. Why can we not tie it onto there? We can. Right, so now we've only got two water and road hits. Oh, can can we not go over there? That's that's a disappointment. Uh, we're going to need to bridge it then, aren't we? Or viaduct. Or maybe we can do that. We can do that. Right, okie dokie. So the Scarborough line is going to cost us 319,000. Oh, dear me, that is a lot of money, isn't it? That is a lot of money. Um, right. Oh, dearie me. What a lot of money that is indeed. Oof. We've come over all funny. Uh, right, well, it's going to have to happen. Let's have a look at our accounting. Uh, hmm. Where's the loan tab? Uh, excuse me. Assets. Is it in assets? Sorry, I thought I'd better finish my coffee. It's getting cold there. Info. Right. Well, we don't want to switch. Ah, there's the loans. Right, okay. Um, right. We'll pay that loan early. And then we can take a new loan. So we want a 500... Do we want a 500 million pound loan? Ah, we'll take that. There we go. Right. Build the blueprints. We've built the Scarborough line. Look at that. That's oh, brilliant. I think, oh, for Christ's sake, what's going on here? Have you all bottled up again? Look, Metrolink, I have not got. Oh, Christ, I'm still building track. Oh, this is a disaster. Right, there we go, it's gone. Do I need some more signals, do you think? Is, is that what's causing this? If I put, like, a... Hang on, how do we... Create new signals. There we go. If I, if I... 
Another one. Oh, shift to change the direction that the signal's... Fit. I don't get... You know, like, you're stuck. Where are you actually trying to get to? Look, you're, you're ruining our next stop. Um, there is no collision at Media City UK. There, there literally is no collision. I don't understand. Next stop. Um, so you're going to Harbour City, which is on there. So I don't get why you can't go across. Why can't you go across? Is he... I don't get where he's trying to go. <sighs> see, I just don't get it. I, you see, he's trying to go in there, so why is he colliding with him? I, I don't understand. We might need to... We're going to need to... You see, again, you, you can do that. Oh, for Christ's sake. I did not want to spend all of our loan on this. And we're going to have to, aren't we? This is a disaster. Right. Um, oh. We're going to leave that for now, you know. Um, we really are. Uh, I don't know what to do other than reset train. Stuck. Reset train. Stuck. It, it would be a bit more useful if you could, like, turn things around. I don't want to have to keep sending them back to the depot all the time. And I don't understand why it's, why it's doing it. Because, to be honest, that should be... I mean, I've put another signal there. I can't understand why there's a problem. There, there shouldn't be a... Why are you here? Yeah, I just, I, I don't get why there's a problem there, to be honest with you. That's, that's very strange, isn't it? Are you going to get stuck as well? Oh, no, you can actually go. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Maybe it's because there's no, there's no signals here, is there? One way. Maybe, maybe this has something to do with it. Maybe if we, if we signal. Maybe this, ah. Maybe we need like signals down here. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna solve it. What have we actually got? So we've got platform trend stop point. Can we, can we put that in the middle? So that we'll stop further down. Oh, I don't know. Right, let's see if that works. Uh, we'll go on edit, because I want rid of you. Delete. There we go. Right, we'll see if this works. I'm hoping it does. If it doesn't, then I'll try something else. Uh, right, okay. Let's have a look. Trams. Come on, trams. I wonder if these will change to red. As well, I mean, clearly the points are facing this way because these are all red, aren't they? Um, have we got some trams coming? Where do they start? Do they start at Eccles or Ashton? Oh, they start at Ashton, don't they? Right. I hope that these change colour as you know as we go. That that would be good. Oh, here we go. Right, first trams coming. Right, there we go. Let's see what he does. Ah, so they they do actually. Ah, oh, that's brilliant, isn't it? Although the trend stopping position doesn't appear to make any difference at all. Um, Okie dokie, that's not a problem. Let's see, we'll, we'll get it sped up. Okay, now everything's stuck. Why is everything stuck? I don't get why you're stuck. Because there's, you know, there's, do I need to put another signal after this? Is, will it not let you, will it not let two trains on a junction, I wonder? 
create new signals. So if I pop you there. Ah. Okay. That's why. So there's, there's probably a different way of doing the blocks here. So if that train's failing the junction, even though that other tram won't come into contact with it, it still won't let you, you do it. Right, okay. So now that I've created, now that I've started with simple blocks, I'm going to have to do this all the way down here, aren't I? That's annoying, but needs must. I reckon I'm paying an absolute ton out in compensation, you know. So the problem is now, uh, block Belize, what does that do? Ah, so now that's when you're going from like signal track. Ah, right, okay. Are we, are we still stuck? That solves everything, a block Belize. There we go, they're, they're on the way. Now hopefully they won't get stuck. I don't really know what I've done there, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've shoved a load of signals in. I don't really know, again, how I've... Other than the fact Manchester's now glowing a luminous green, particularly around the Salford area. It looks like someone's spilt a load of radioactive mess. Um, yeah, I, I don't really understand the signal, and I'm going to have to have a play about with that. I understand how signalling works given that I work on the railway, I do understand how absolute block and track circuit block and all that works, but the NIMBY rail signalling is a little bit confusing, um, and I will have to... It seems maybe the Belize's are for trams, and the these block signals are for regular trains, but if you don't have any of these block signals, they'll just behave like trams. I mean, if we if we flick over to, to these services, uh, let's find where there's two trains together... You see, they're kind of behaving like trams, aren't they? That you know, they're just following each other. Um, I don't know. Yeah, if if you don't have any of the signals, they behave like trams. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna have to have an, another look at that at some point. Now I'm gonna have to change the Liverpool services, the Liverpool to York. So how do we do that? Liverpool to York. They're every half an hour, aren't we? How do we switch this line off then? Um, because it said that you could obviously deactivate a line. Uh, not sure is uh, is the complete answer. Service level full, closed. There we go. Uh, hold on, these trains have thrown a fit. Um, right, empty trains. Empty trains will do. So closed, I think they all just grind to a halt. <laughs> yeah, when the line is closed, they all just shove their anchors on. Um, so we are going to need to get rid of everything on there. Going to need to get rid of everything. Yep, gone. Can you all go back to the depot? Uh, I want you to go to the depot. Can, can you do that? Nope, it would appear not. Uh, right, okay. Intervention... Yep, you're going to need an intervention as well. Intervention. And, yep, there's another one over there, for Christ's sake. Yeah, this this wasn't a good idea. Perhaps there's a better way of doing this than uh, just sending the... I could have deleted the timetable, couldn't I? That might have been a better way of doing it, rather than just deleting all the stops off the line, because that's just... That's just upset them, hasn't it? They're, they're all furious. It's like the driver's driving along with his docket and, uh, you know, control have just said, oh, yeah, by the way, um, just stop. Okay, where are you? You're at Church Fenton causing problems. We've spent a lot of money on... Uh, six refunds. Oh, we don't want refunds, do we? Right, okay. So, lines. TP... Liverpool to York. Um, we are going to have to look at Scarborough. We're going to have a depot at Scarborough. And the reason we're going to have a depot at Scarborough, uh, create a new depot, 
There is actually a depot for the Class 68 at Scarborough. Yeah. I didn't notice that you were offering me two track there. I'm sure that I clicked. Yeah, create double track. Ah, right, that's why. And for some reason today, you're not uh, you're not trying to mess about. Uh, create new branch. Right, no, single track. That's interesting. Coming out of depots is now just some single track. Okay, get it built. Um, we're going to need to relocate. How do you relocate trains to a depot? Oh, hang on. There's, there's somebody else there. Causing carnage at Church Fenton. No, you're on, you're on track building mode. Intervene. How do we relocate them to the depot? Let's have a look at trains. Yeah, trains that are not doing anything. Where's our trains that are not doing anything? Liverpool to York, eight trains. Right. I don't think we need that. Now, Liverpool will only be every hour, because obviously we've got a Newcastle service going every hour, haven't we? Um, oh, dear me, that's... Um... Right, delete the timetable. Uh, <laughs> Star in a depot. Scarborough. And then how do we how do we copy the weekly schedule? Delete and paste. Delete and paste. Delete and paste. So hopefully, if I've done this right, these should all be on their way to Scarborough Depot. Oh, that's that's not what you meant to do. Paste. Are they, are they on the way? Are they on the way? Uh, it would appear not. Hang on, what depot were they coming out of in the first place? Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit lost here. I, I don't know where all my trains have gone. Are they not? They're not running to the depot, are they? Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game, Judge. Uh, right, okay. TP. Live to ska. Could live to ska. Uh, I don't know if the trains need to be so expensive, £6 or £2, but we're going to leave it as it is because the trains seem to be full, don't they? So, you know, if people are willing to pay it, more full them. Um, right, we need platform E. I wish they'd just have regular platform numbers, I really do. Uh, SEMA platform B. Cannot find path. Of course you can. Oh, you can't find a path from. Eh? Why can why can you not find a path? Of course you can find a path. That that's a path. Maybe you can't find a path back to Scarborough. Uh, right. Okay. Where's Molten? Molten. Molten platform B. Oh, this is gonna cause me a lot of problems. Uh, I don't get why you cannot find a path because you know what. Maybe we just need to put them all in. You know, when we put them all in, maybe it'll work. I don't know. Right. We need a, we need a bit of the old two track. Add, yeah, two track. Yeah, two track. Go in. That jolly good. Get it built. So, yeah, maybe when, maybe when I've actually got it all in, it'll work. So the next stop on this will be Garforth, platform A. Did they, they are driving on the right hand side, aren't they? Yeah. I don't want them to drive on the right hand side, but I think that's as good as we're getting. Uh, right, okay. Then platform 16 at Leeds. I know it's not 16, but it'll have to do. Uh, we don't stop at Jewsbury. Next stop, Huddersfield. Where do they stop then? Do they, do they go through? The fast ones go through on here, don't they? G, and then round to Staley Bridge. Staley Bridge, Staley Bridge, Staley Bridge. Yep. Yeah. 
See, it can find paths, it just doesn't appear to be able to find paths on my Scarborough line. Perhaps I need to do some signalling. Uh, Manvik, Poppy down there, and then Lee Green. The service to Newton the Willows at work. See, I'm going to put them into Newton the Willows. I know that obviously the Scarborough Liverpools do not stop at Newton the Willows. That's something that we're going to have to live with. Uh, but when I put the Newcastles in, we can obviously tweak the timetable to, uh, to fit accordingly. Uh, into Liverpool, Liverpool Lime Street. We're going to have to majorly redo Lime Street, aren't we? It's it's not a particularly good looking station. No, it's quite a nice station in real life, you know. I'm quite partial to Liverpool, you know, as, as stations go. Cannot find path. Oh, you can find a path, right, okay. Into Victoria, there we go. Out to Staley Bridge. Uh, do you come on that platform at Staley Bridge? I think you do, don't you? Uh, Marsden Slough at Huddersfield. Huddersfield, Huddersfield, Huddersfield. I don't know quite how we're going to do the timetable uh, to get them to wait at Liverpool, because obviously there's, uh, you know, they do have standing time at uh, at some of the stops, don't they? Like they have, I think they have about 40 minutes sat at Scarborough and about 20 minutes sat at Lime Street. I don't know how we're going to implement that. I really don't, but we shall see. Uh, then you're going to come to York, and then you're going to come out to Moulton, 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 yeah. They don't get it. Uh, hang on, where's Seema? So I've got the track, I've got the track built. But for some reason they can't find paths. Ah, hang on. Hang on a cotton picking second, this is one way, they've... Why is it one way the track that way? So so what happens if I delete you? Can you find a path now? Oh, that'll be why. Because it's it's got me going, yeah, you, you're working to English rules. You can't just work to English rules now. You've been on American rules for like the since time began. We can't just all of a sudden. And I bet Moulton is, uh, yeah, Moulton's saying one way that way. And that way, but it's it's two ways at Moulton. How about now? Have we got? Uh, oh no, we need we need York, don't we? We need to take York off one way, one way, one way, one way. Yep. Edit signals. Delete. Delete. And then down here we need to. Yeah, you see that that's better. Why why was it going the other way? Um, the answer is goodness only knows. It still cannot find a path. It can find a path from Scarborough to Seema. Does it do it automatically at my junctions, I wonder? Molten. It wouldn't appear so. Maybe if I put, like, some signal in. Uh, new signal. A simple block. That's the wrong way around, Joe. Uh, edit signal, yeah. Delete and delete. New signal, uh, you need to be that way. I don't understand why it's it's all of a sudden plumped for like American. There we go. Uh, have we got. Nope, can't find a path. That's uh, infuriating. Absolutely infuriating, isn't it? I don't know why. Do you know what? We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to look at this, aren't we? I mean, like I say, uh, I'm, I'm sorry we've not got it done. I was really hoping that we'd get some trains running on this Scarborough line. I know it's not quite an hour, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of running out of puff. I don't think I've ever done an hour long. Well, I've never done an hour long NIMBY Rails episode, have I? I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then make sure that you click that like button. I really appreciate it. And of course, subscribe so you never miss out on any NIMBY Rails. We are going to go back to the usual weekly NIMBY, uh, NIMBY showing. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at this signal in and have a serious play because I'm really out of my comfort zone now. It was quite easy just being able to slam tracks in left, right and centre. Uh, but all of a sudden I've found that I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, I'm pretty sure that that comes across despite my uh, my waffle and uh, trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I really don't. Until next time, cheerio. Goodbye for now.